tell us. He's not lying anymore. What, what was he here to tell us? He was here to tell us that <laughs> that the, 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 the indoctrination of education is something to really watch out for, and that is one of the things that's limiting us. And he says that medical treatment is mistaken for health care. He says that the social work is mistaken for the improvement of community life. The police protection is confu confused with the safety. The military poise is confused with the national security. And the rat race is confused with doing productive work. Everywhere, the hidden curriculum of schooling initiates the citizen to the myth that bureaucracy, guided by scientific knowledge, are efficient and benevolent. It instills in the pupil the myth that increased production will provide a better life. And this is in us. This is a program that was put in us, and we can address that or we can ignore it. But if you if you've studied uh, or heard about Scott Nearing, Helen Scott Nearing, The Good Life, who lived up in Maine and, and the north up there, you know, what was their biggest challenge? When, people, when thousands of people would come and stay with them and live with them, you remember what their biggest challenge was? He said, you can only work four hours a day. The rest of the time, you have to do your own thing, your hobbies. Your, people couldn't do that. They were so conditioned, they felt guilty for not working that eight, ten hours a day. And this is what I'm saying. We need to move the economic system back from us. So it's something that we kind of spend the rest of our time being human beings, living life, enjoying art, exploration of nature, music, all these great things that are shoved to the hobbies. We need to pull those back into the center. And, and I feel like that's something that uh, we can all benefit from recognizing that condition. Now, coming back to Lemon Bomb here, why is this bringing all these stories up? Because Lemon Bomb is the great de stressor. All right, Lemon Bomb and Catnip and Lavender, these are three herbs that you have got to keep nearby because the tensions of modern living are so high right now. Like I said, you can't just eat well. You've got to do extra things, especially if you're somebody who takes and stores emotions in your body, which we all do. You know, it's important to learn where you put your emotions. You know, men, where do men put their worry? You know where? What, what kills men more than anything else? Sure. Their prostate. Their pro well, that too. Their heart attack. Hearts are big, and they're for both of us, men and women. You know, women want equality. Well, great. They get to die the way men do now. It's weird to see that shit. But, you know, so the heart is essential. What do we put in our heart? What do we, we shut down our hearts. We close down our hearts. We don't, we don't actually heal from heartache and broken hearts. We just kind of go on, sort of forget about it. It all gets stored in our heart. Remember, our heart is 60% neurons. It's a brain. It's sitting there holding that memory. If you don't deal with it, you don't address it, it's going to come back, and it's killing more Americans than anything else. But what's killing more men after, after that is their prostate. I'll guarantee to you, 99% of men don't know where their prostate is, what it's used for, what its purpose is, and let me tell you, it's the size of a walnut, and it's right down there below the bladder. Two different major veins and channels move through it, and when those get crimped up because of that, that organ starts inflaming or growing, or that gland, I meant to say, gland keeps growing and, and uh, expanding, then, uh, then all sorts of things happen and actually becomes uh, cancerous and killing, you know, 60% of men over 40 have an enlarged prostate, you know? So we need to tune back in. That's where worry is stored. So if you want to help the men in your life, get them to talk about their worries. Get them to release their worries, not hold their worries down in this little teeny organ inside your body. But all your organs, in addition to doing fluids and functional things that we've studied a lot, they also store emotions. And tune into that. This being here, Melissa is here to help move stress. Now, I'm not saying you should continue the life where you're loaded with stress and, oh, thank God I have my lemon bomb. This is to help you transition your life to channeling that stress and not taking it on in an aggressive way. So, lemon bomb is an amazing being. And it, another thing just to add to those of you who are into alchemy is that, you know, there's two branches of alchemy. There's the mineral branch of alchemy, and then there's the plant branch of alchemy. And the plant branch, branch, branch of alchemy, alchemy has, at the peak of it, its green philosopher's stone, which is like a cure-all. And this is the main plant used in processing and making that medicine.
So that's something to really uh, get to know more as we transition. And that remake stuff. Ah, I'm not going to go into that today. I'm going to learn more about that. But this plant right here is calling out to me. Do you know who this is? Shepherd's first.